Hi, I'm Nancy Riggs from Piccadilly Puppets. And I was Mother Nature and Butterfly Ballad, and I'm gonna show you how I did some of the puppets in the show. A person who works with puppets is called a puppeteer. And the word we use for making the puppets come alive is manipulating them. So I'm gonna show you how I manipulated the puppets. There are several styles of puppetry, and we use two styles in this show. The first kind is called a rod puppet. This is Katie as a caterpillar, the green small caterpillars, and she has a rod on each end of her body so that I can move her body together and apart like this, like caterpillars do. And she's made out of a pair of kitchen tongs with the ends removed. Kevin is made the same way. She also has a little ring there on the end of this rod, and I put my thumb in that, and that helps me to make her look around. Now, we're gonna go behind the curtain. The curtain hides the puppeteer, but today, I'm gonna take it off so you can see the puppeteer. And it's just attached with Velcro. Whoops, there we go. And it's open in the back. So I come in, I sit down on a stool, and I hold the puppets up here on what we call the playboard. Now, you can see how Katie moves across the playboard. Here is Kevin as a yellow, black, and white puppeteer. He's also a rod puppet made with the kitchen tongs, but bigger and yellow, black, and white, because that's what happens to monarch butterfly caterpillars. And he moves the same way. He makes a little bit of a squeaking sound. <laughs> now, when Katie is learning to fly, the puppet's made like this, but at one point, I use what we call Stunt Katie. And that's a puppet that doesn't have any rods or strings or anything, because all I do is throw her in the air. Whee! Splat! Another rod puppet in the show is Katie as a butterfly. She has a long single rod under her and I just have to move the whole rod up and down and her wings flop around and makes her fly. Kevin too. I want to show you a more complicated rod puppet, the bird. The bird has a string attached on each of its wings, one over here and one over here. And then the strings come together and go all the way down the rod to the bottom. And then when I pull down on the strings, that makes his wings flap. So it looks more like he's flying. Now another kind of puppet that we used in this show is a hand puppet. And that's one where your hand goes inside the puppet. Can you think what character in this show would be a hand puppet? How about the frog? The frog has a hole in the bottom and I slip my hand in the hole and up into his mouth like this. When I open and close my hand, it opens and closes his mouth. He also has an opening in his tongue and my finger goes in there so that his tongue can move all around. Then to make him hop, I just move him up and down with my hand. Now in this show, I wear long black gloves on my hands to help hide them, but I took them off for the demonstration. What other character in this show was a hand puppet? The spider, right? The spider's like a glove, and I just slip my hand in him. Now, how many legs does a spider have? Eight. How many fingers do I have? Five, if you count the thumb. So I put my fingers in some of his legs, and then the rest of the legs just dangle. But by moving my fingers around like this, I can make him crawl. 
Well, that is all the puppets I'm going to demonstrate today. I hope you enjoyed Butterfly Ballad. If you go to our Facebook page or check us out on Instagram at Piccadilly Puppets ATL, there's a few other short videos, and I'm going to be putting some more up as the summer goes on. Thanks. This was Piccadilly Puppets. Bye.